Hi guys, welcome to this channel. It's Mix from the Mix Creation. Remember, in this channel, we talk about work, we talk about travel, and everything in between. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. New subscribers and the whole time new subscribers, thank you so much if it's your first time to come across this channel. For the old subscribers, thank you so much for supporting this channel. Uh, my friends from Ghana, from uh, Uganda, from Nepal, from Kenya, from Tanzania, from Sierra Leone, from Gambia, from Namibia, uh, from Sri Lanka, from Nepal, from Bangladesh, India. Thank you so much. I'm humbled. I'm so humbled. Thank you so much for the support. In today's video, we are going to look at uh, the easiest type, the types of the uh, easiest jobs that you can definitely get in most of these Gulf countries. When we are talking about most of these Gulf countries, we are looking at Gulf, we are looking at uh, Qatar, Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, uh, Kuwait, um, Oman, name a few. Those are what we're talking about. What are those easiest jobs that you can get despite of you being a graduate? Most of the times, uh, uh, I'll just point out to, to people from Africa, is that most of you, uh, despite such kind of jobs and uh, maybe you're a graduate and you think your level of education will not be parallel with, with these kind of jobs. But remember, yeah, for the first start, it's not always not very easy. I keep on telling people, but after some time, you, if you really focus and everything gets okay and everything gets fine as you planned it, but it's better to have something first than having nothing, you know have bread on bread than having nothing which is better and most of these jobs that you tend to despise in one way or the other, you, th you get to look at these jobs that are even paying more than what we are receiving in our countries so it means that if the opportunity closes on your way or clocks on your way on your door definitely take the opportunity as you plan ahead of you in one way or the other one of the jobs i'm going to talk about i'm going to talk about cleaning jobs you know these are all over cleaning companies in the gulf they are cleaning companies wherever hotels hospitality housekeepers we look at uh, hospitals we look at uh, general cleaning we look at um, automobile cleaning all these are part of the cleaning jobs that are available and i remember i made a video where i, told, I, I, I even told you that most of these jobs the visas are very fast if it is time and it is a season, uh, the visa can no, it only takes seven working days to get a visa for that job in case you've ever applied for what you call any recruitment agencies, meaning that they're more easier to get and they do not need a lot of qualification. Why not start with that one as you try to build up something that is going to take you within your career or is going to take you in the same line of your career and having something on your plate at the end of it all. You know, it's having having something is better than having zero so it's the bet definitely is so it's very good that you can try them out we look at another job is what you call security jobs yes uh, you see every security jobs uh, security companies all over the gulf recruiting people and the qualifications are not yet that very strict especially uh, uh, apart from the few countries that we may talk about like uh, dubai where they're a little bit very strict uh, with you need to go under the license you need to go under training but even the basic training they have to talk about you need to know how to read and write uh, you need to have the physical ability or the physic the phys the the physique for you to, to do some particular task to see that you can medical you can physically fit to be on that position so you find what they are recruited and what you have to let you know that most of these security jobs is that they do not manually uh, 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 turn out to harassing people or enforcing law, but it's just to protect life and property of uh, uh, anywhere you're being, de uh, being deployed to do, and also what you call uh, more or less and what you call the customer jobs in one way or the other. Then we look at domestic helpers. When you look at domestic helpers, we look at uh, 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 we look at house helpers, the nannies. Then we also look at house drivers. They are also very easy to draw. They are very easy to, to get in one way or the other. Those are part of the jobs that you can start with at the unskilled jobs you can start with and they quite have some good or and i keep on saying that they have money that is even uh, 
better than what we are we are paid back in our country so it's better to start with them as you're trying to to hand up uh, a few courses to add on what you have to get something that you feel that you are or you feel that you are interested in in one way or the other it's not good to despise them because when that opportunity comes then definitely take it up and you can start from there in one way or the other then we have another job is called landscaping uh you know people the gardeners uh or, you know working in different hotels, uh, taking care of the gardens, taking care of uh, roadside gardens, uh, landscaping. And what what amazing, what is amazing and what is really very good out of these jobs that uh, if you're very careful, you learn a lot of skills, which the same skills you can go back to your country, apply them, start a business for yourself and to begin earning in one way or the other, which is partially well something that is very good in one way or the other. Because remember, most of the times when you come to these Gulf countries, what I really have to assure you is uh, if you really careful or if you really you have the kind of liking and the love for that job these machines you get to learn a lot of using uh, different machines what a machine is used for what kind of work it does and definitely that is a little bit of more skills and capital being given to you when you go back to your country and you feel you have enough capital to turn up and you become a CEO or you become a manager of yourself in one way or the other then also we look at uh, drivers we look at drivers driver also so there are a lot of drivers everywhere. We look at house drivers, we look at panting drivers, we look at uh, uh, valet drivers. You know, they cannot live out with them at one or the other. So you find that these are some of the jobs that you can start with, despite of you being a graduate in one or the other. You know, it's not all about, remember, it's not all about uh, uh, the word graduate you have, but what comes out to is what is very important. You may be graduate, but what comes out of you is not of that productive. But remember, a person is a graduate and he has been or he has humbled himself or he has humbled herself in one way or the other. He will be able to achieve in one way or the other and he will be able to move to what you call greater or bigger horizon. So these are some kind of jobs that definitely they are available in the Gulf countries and you can definitely get them in one way or the other. And and the last job that we can talk about right now is what we call the Samba Boy. Uh, Samba Boys is most of these uh, Arab countries have what you call second homes or what you call country has sold homes. You find they're doing some kind of farming from that side, uh, they're doing crop growing and uh, you know, and more really. So you find that you may be taken there as a manager or you may be taken there as a Samba Boy and you definitely go to work in that farm. Remember. Yes, we look at getting out money, we look at, uh, but also look at the other part, positive part of it all and other uh, uh, skills that you get to get out of that. These are only skills uh, uh, good that we can uh, counterpart in what we have and definitely take back home in our countries. Then we can begin something that's a little bit bigger and we, we again give other people opportunity to have the jobs in one way or the other, which is partially uh, very good. Remember, these Arab countries, when we are being recruited, these people, they look at us to do the common doer but this person is not going to tell you that i'm giving an extra skill on what you have no it's not going to tell you that no one is going to call you and say you know what makes come why i'm giving this is because i want you to earn the money and i also want you to learn this such that you can go back in your country and apply it's not that way remember they, they, they definitely know all of us that come here at the age of concept of working we are above 18 years so we can reason we can think and we can definitely choose out what is the best for us and we definitely uh, know what we have at the end of it all hope i've tried to share up something for you for people who are seeking to come don't look at your graduate don't look at your papers you can first put your papers aside you first make the money make something that is going to push you or you uh, money that is going to sponsor you extra courses for you such that you can have uh, something that um, can put you on the table we are so unfortunate in africa that normally uh, they do not have they do not most of the available opportunities we come come on what you call uh, the unskilled job opportunities so we definitely need to work hard and bind ourselves together so that we can also portrait or we can also enter the market of the skilled laborers at one or the other or at one point of time which will just not benefit only me or benefit only you but will also benefit those people or those children or those grandchildren that will become more when those opportunities are still available in these gulf countries to do such kind of work hope i've tried to share up something 
Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Don't forget to put a comment in the comment section. I'll always be getting uh, back to you. Ask any question that you feel you want to ask. And if you feel there's something that is not really understood in the video, you can put it in the comment section. I'll always be very important, very happy to get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget to press the notification bell because you'll always be updated whenever I upload a new video. Remember, it's next from the next creation. Take